startup Kick is in a lawsuit with the SEC. They are now fighting back with a 100-plus um, page response. So, Jay, do you see this ending in a positive way for Kick? And what would this actually mean for the industry as a whole? So I sympathize with Kick, and I think, you know, it's always great when somebody tries to do something innovative. Uh, but the facts, as laid out by the SEC at least, just don't look good, really good for Kick. Uh, one of their points, the SEC's uh, contention, is sort of that uh, at a Bitcoin meetup in 2017, uh, the Kick CEO said that the company had set aside some kin for itself, which kin is obviously the cryptocurrency that they were, is what they called it, um, and that they were committed to increasing its value uh, based on the fact that they own some, that they were obviously had a, had an interest in in raising the value. That sounds like something that you'd want to buy now and hold while the value goes up, and that's practically the definition of a security, and that's sort of they're, what they're saying is he was sort of implying that this would be something that one could invest in uh, and get a return. Um, if you actually look at their their response, they uh, again, they don't really uh, do a really good job of contesting a lot of what the SEC says. Uh, they do sort of go point by point, and one of their points uh, that I, I think that they have uh, a, a fair argument on is that the SEC has sort of said in their in their initial filing uh, that Cake's consultants had warned them that it was potentially a security. Uh, but if you actually look at the whole uh, quote of the, uh, that the consultant you know, had used, uh, apparently it was taken out of context. And that uh, the, quote, the quote actually is that the company had good basis to argue that it was not a security uh, because they're essentially just selling units of a property uh, that are used for a particular purpose within the app. So uh, if you actually look at the full contents of this, uh, context of the statement, um, it actually supports what Kick was saying. So like I said, it's sort of uh, uh, overall, if, if what the SEC is says is to be believed, it doesn't look too good for Kick. But Kik, at least in their response, has uh, sort of fired back and said, uh, at least in some cases, that, that the SEC has sort of credibly, uh, they've sort of credibly made the argument that the SEC has overstated their case. and taken sentences out of context. They certainly made that argument credibly. Now the question would be whether, uh, who prevails, whether it's the SEC or, or Kick. But if the SEC, what the SEC says is accurate, then it doesn't look good for Kick. But the question is whether it's accurate in the first place. Okay, so we'll have to um, just wait and see, like you said, whether it is accurate, then we can work out how Kick is going to fare in this. So Jose, we will come back to you. Your thoughts for us? Yeah, this is super important. But whatever happens, this will be incredibly important for the industry, you know, because the the biggest dampener to innovation, um, obviously, sort of bad regulation is one, but but another one is lack of clarity. And I think what we have in the U.S. now is, is a huge lack of clarity in terms of how the Howie test is being interpreted and applied. And I think uh, the Kick lawyers and, and and Kick itself made that point very well. You know, the Howie test has sort of the, the, the four prongs. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so take all this with a grain of salt, but it has the, the four, four prongs of um, investment of money in a common enterprise with the expectation of profit from the invest from the efforts of others, sorry. And uh, I think, the, the obviously, the, the expectation of profit, I think, given Kik's uh, public announcements, they, they, they've contested that a bit, but it, it's likely that most people investing in an ICO are doing so with the expectation of profits. Um, but that in itself doesn't make something a security, right? The, the expectations of profits have to derive from the efforts of others. And I think that's where um, blockchain and truly decentralized projects have a real um, argument to make with, in terms of the Howey test in that is, is the, um, the, the, the value created actually being generated from the effort of an identifiable group of others, you know? And I think the SEC has already opened up a precedent that, that a project can become what they call sufficiently decentralized that that's not the case, and in which case it's not a security. Um, and I think Kick is will also be trying to make that argument. You know that the price of Kick that isn't isn't reliant just on on the price of Kin. Sorry, isn't reliant just on the efforts of Kick, but also on the on the third party developers, on the apps that are built on it, on people using those apps. So it's 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 more of an ecosystem rather than a rather than a security in in the traditional sense. I think that's really important to remember because otherwise things like a lottery ticket um, would also count as a security, right? Because you're still buying it. Um, with the expectation of profits, but it's just not from the efforts of, of identifiable others. So it'll be really interesting to see how this case progresses and and what the precedent is that's created here. And it'll be really important to for crypto, but also for for crypto in the in the U.